What's up guys, Shogun here back with a new video and the big question is should you buy the Sony A6000 in 2017? I just recently picked it up so I'm not gonna go through the bullshit like specs and all of that I'm just gonna give you guys what I wanted to see when I needed to know if I should purchase this camera so here's the box right here so what I got with the box was the camera and the prime lens which is like an electronic lens so you could zoom with the electronic thing you don't have to manually zoom and also it's 24.3 megapixel fast hybrid autofocus the, the screen is perfect but it's not like a 180 degrees articulated screen that goes up so you would not see yourself. So that might be a bummer for some people. But not for me because I just really use the phone app to center myself. So there's a, a app on the app store called Play Memories. Or just use the Wi-Fi so you could see yourself while recording. That's what I did to set up this thing right here. So let's just run through what I love about this camera. So what I love is that it's small. It's a small camera. It uses Wi-Fi, it has quick autofocus that is really important to me and also it can record in 60 frames per second which is very vital to me as well. I chose this one over the 60, the A6500 and the rest of them like A6500 A6, and A6500. I chose this one because of the price. I would really like to get like the the higher end models but because of the price I had to settle down with this one and it's really working out for me but as I said before I'm gonna show you guys what I wanted to see when I needed to know should I purchase this so now I'm recording my audio straight from this camera so the first thing I hate about this camera is these flaps on the side so if you're vlogging outside let me let me record with my phone to show you guys <coughs> okay so if you're vlogging outside, they have some flaps on the side that is really really annoying. So these flaps right here, you'll always hear these flaps. It's super annoying. But as I said before, it's that's just the only thing I don't like. And I also like the form factor, it's super small. We also have a flash right here, a built-in flash. So let me just pop the flash up right here. Just like that, the flash pops up. You could bend this flash if you'd like to um, get a nice angle to bounce it off the walls, whatever you please. And you could just leave it like that. It looks it looks fine like that to me. But if you want to like not have direct light onto the skin, you could bounce it up. What else did I want to know? I also wanted to know how was the battery life. The battery life is, is decent, but I advise you to get two batteries and get a battery pack charger to charge it up. No, let's just roll some footage, let's go outside and see how this performs. Okay guys, so this is a looking right now, the vlogging setup. Um, it's recording in 60 frames per second right now. So I put it in 60 frames per second because I wanted to get in some slow-mo shots for you guys as well. But now, let's just go on an adventure. Let me get my bike real quick. Let's go. I can't see if I'm in frame. Now that's the downfall when you're out in the field shooting but if you're inside and you have a setup you could use your phone to see if you're in focus you're in frame but no it's just a hit or miss but anyways let's get let's get it This is the camera maxed out a full zoom right here, full 50 mm. This is when I'm all the way out to 16 mm, and this is when I'm stooping about three inches away from the floor and then zooming in to get like a macro shot with good amount of bokeh in the background. Pretty cool stuff. Here's the scenery off the lake. Someone riding a bike right there.
good camera. Let's try out the autofocus on the bike pedals, on the handles, on the bike pedals, bike pedals. I'm not touching the shutter button or anything. It's just focusing by itself right now, and it's it's fast. That is very fast. Over there. What's it Hey, got? man. Take a look, Code. It's not interested. <laughs> testing the audio I'm gonna show you how far this camera is away from us right here this is how, this far, is how far the camera, the camera is, away is away from us so I'm not, so I'm not really sure if you're hearing the audio clearly I'm not shouting at any point if I'm shouting that's how it sounds so yeah I'm all the way over here about I don't know should I say like four four feet away from it I honestly don't know but as I was saying the viewfinder let me show you guys see this is how it looks when when you want to see the subject this is how handy the flip out screen gets guys honestly I thought we got some amazing shots for this review but now I'm gonna try to get a closer look inside of the lake to see what it looks like not inside of the lake but like a closer look at the lake to see if I could slow down some footage with the six play around with the 60 frames per second to see if I could slow down some footage hopefully it looks great but first I have to try and get out of this situation right here Okay, so I'm off to a good start. Let's go. Should I vlog like this? Oh, I feel like Casey Neistat. Oh, oh. Black Casey Neistat. What is a USB plug doing down here, man? Blackberry at that. Wonder if it works. Should I try it? Should I bring it home to see if it works? Hmm. Never. <laughs> so, now we're closer to the lake. Yes guys, so that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this review kind of let you realize what camera you'd need for your vlogs or just for your setup. You can see I had my little studio set up in my room. So you know that light, good lighting will get you some sharp image quality. As I said before, for vlogging purposes, I don't think this is your best option. You could check out the Sony NEX7 because it has a flip out screen or you could even buy a, a Sony external monitor if you have like that kind of money but not for me but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video and always love peace and tweaks signing out Woo, baby
Alright, so this is a test of the low light capability. There's tons of light coming inside right now. It's not really sunny, it's overcast, a lot of clouds over there. And yeah, this is how it looks with it's it's pretty dark in here. If I use my iPhone it would be pitch black. As I said before, a little bit of light coming in from outside. Like that. But it's it's a real test of the low light capabilities. Let me get to some darker areas like right here, up here. This is low light. To me, this is low light. Low light. This is really low light. No, no, you may talk. This is real low light situations. As you can see right there. Low light. This is how it performs in low light, if you're wondering. Shooting in auto. Everything's shooting in auto. A lot of grain. But I don't know which madman would actually want to shoot like this. <laughs> 